This week on Spiritual Outdoor Adventures with Jimmy Sides. I was on an Arkansas whitetail hunt. I had this whitetail come out early morning, very, very cold morning, and I shot at it at 460 yards, and I shot right under it. And so I put another one in, I shoot again, and this time I shoot over it. Well, man, I settled in, and finally the third shot, I really, really anchored in, I put it right on the top of the back boom and just drilling, but I didn't see the impact. I saw the deer run. I went down and looked for him and, and didn't find him. I went to have lunch with the guys, and I came back, and, well, you know what, I'll, I'll look at the footage. Well, I drilled him right hard, and he kicked and went right that way. I went back down there and turned around and looked. He's laying out there 80 yards in the field. So I'm embarrassed now. now. I'm thinking, what did I say at lunch? Well, here's what I said at lunch. They said, did we hear you shoot this morning? I said, well, somebody shot right on the edge of the property. <laughs> And I heard, actually it was three shots, so they probably missed. And I was covering my tracks, you know, because I didn't want to be embarrassed at them thinking, oh, here comes this great hunter in here who's got a TV show and he missed the, the animal three times. I mean, who do we have here telling us about our spot? Well, I go back and see that. I see the dead deer. Now I've got to, I've got to explain because I haven't shot anymore and here I want to come in with a dead deer, right? So, I mean, it's eating me up, man. Why? Did you tell a lie? And so I'm struggling with it, and that night at supper, I said, guys, I, I gotta tell you all the story. I gotta tell you something. I gotta come clean. It was me that did those three shots. And they're like, really? And I said, yeah, and I told the truth. And they just laughed and said, well, I said, man, we forget, no big deal. Glad you got a deer, blah, blah, blah. So I had it out there and said, well, come look at it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who's this deer? Died of fright when I pointed the gun at it. <laughs> so, and they were like, oh, when you edit the show, you can take out those first two shots anyway. Now that's about what 99% of the producers of outdoor television shows do. If they do have a miss, you're not gonna see it and you're not gonna know it. And I told them that, that night, I said, there's no way I'm not showing those two misses. And they're like, man, are you kidding me? And I said, no, I'm gonna show those misses. So there's a guy named James Eagleman, you know him? <laughs> he works oh, yeah. with you oh, yeah. and he's our trainer. And he's sitting on his couch on a Sunday night, 9.30 p.m., turns on the Pursuit Channel, and his wife is there. Our show came on, and he watches me miss once, he watches me miss twice, then I hit the deer at 460 yards, which was my longest kill on the white tail. And I told my wife, I said, I said, hmm, I said, uh, this guy just missed a deer at 400. She goes, yeah, you probably need to call him and then train him. And James says, well, he does seem like an honest guy. <laughs> there you go. The big lie and coming clean on national television ultimately led to a partnership with Barber Creek Long Range Hunting and Shooting School near Eufaula, Alabama, as well as a trip there with several of my friends. Mark and Lisa Simpson and their staff have created a top-of-the-line two-day shooting course that includes lodging, mills, school guns, and school ammunition. You can also bring your own rifle for a session on the range. And the instructor is the best in the world, James Eagleman. I understand you spent 26 years in the military. What branch? I did. I was in the Army. I retired as a first sergeant 26 yep. years. Well, anyway, long story short, as I got in a recon, no problem. And then one of the snipers had gotten injured, so they were short a sniper. And they came up to me, and my platoon sergeant said, you know, you qualify expert every time. You know, you're tactically and technically proficient. How would you like trout for sniper school? And I'm like, why not? I mean, I never joined the Army to be a sniper. I just wanted to serve, just want to be, you know, there and take care of bad guys. Lieutenant Colonel Petraeus, who's my battalion commander, mm -hmm. former General Petraeus, right. um, he said, you're pretty good at this, so I'm going to send you over to Special Forces Sniper School at 5th Group at Campbell. So I went there and I got undergraduate from Special Forces Sniper School at 5th Group. I can understand why. And I'm like, because I could see things differently than the other soldiers could. What you're going to start to notice is all the stuff that the atmospheric station pressure, temperature, altitude, angle, earth's rotation, the Coriolis and the vertical etovis, all that has to be compensated for when you're basically shooting at 625 yards an hour. And the way I train my students, I'm going to teach you how it all works, but I'm going to say it's really nice, but this ballistic rangefinder does it all for you. 
the only thing you really need to learn how to do is shoot with my technique and then read the wind. So the technique that we teach will allow you to see your hits and the stock I designed with what's called a 100% heel where it lines up with the recoil line reduces muzzle flip, the vertical stringing at long range, and it allows you to stay in the gun and watch your bullet hits. And I designed it specifically for hunting. When Spiritual Outdoor Adventures with Jimmy Sykes returns, he will see the students in action as they learn how to accurately hit targets at a thousand yards. My friends and I were ready to get started. We hit the classroom and James Eagleman taught us stuff that we had never heard before. Bendrift Coriolis Aerodynamic Jump and he told us. We have been to school this morning. I cannot wait to get to the range. This is like mind boggling. I, and I'm a very experienced hunter and shooter and I feel like a novice right now, but I'm, I'm learning. Big time. I'm not going to be a novice for long. <laughs> Learning a lot. His, his brain is going to explode. <laughs> Can't wait to shoot 1,000 yards. <laughs> so this is what we do at Barber Creek. We provide an environment that is family friendly. And the other thing is, it's an experience. This isn't just a shooting school. Number one, we concentrate on hunting. So shot placement, terminal performance, bullet selection, retain velocity, what it takes to really make a shot at long range. And then the other thing we do is we got full lodging, full food, breakfast, lunch, dinners, steak dinners. People come here and absolutely love it. They say, this is a vacation. We want hunters to be, to be coming here. We want people that want to learn how to hunt. I do get some shooters that are just shooters. By the time they leave here, they're out here hunting because now they realize that a 600 yard shot is completely ethical and I'm gonna basically get them confident that five to 700 yard. Yes, you're gonna to shoot to 1,000. We're gonna shoot at clay pigeons, three and a half inches and little golf balls at 1,000 yards. Most people won't hit the golf balls, but almost everybody's gonna get a clay pigeon. After lunch, everyone was excited to transition to the two-story climate-controlled shooting house. The range is set up with iron targets spaced from 200 to 1,000 yards and the targets are the actual size of the animals they represent. I want you to set up for two and a half and stand by. Square up behind the firearm. Ready. <laughs> you got this, Randy. Persistent. You got this. That's it. Oh, oh right 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 Reality. Thank you. So I said we're getting that. Hit it away at a thousand <laughs> yeah. yards. Oh, wait we're missing it by Hadley. It's so addicting. What I don't need is another uh, expensive hobby, but I now have one. <laughs> Thanks to this man right here. Hey, this is awesome, Dan. It, it is. is. It's so much fun, man. Appreciate it. Thank hey, we ain't done yet. Tomorrow we can shoot a golf ball. But before the golf ball challenge, we have a little hog hunt that we're going to go on. about to do? We are about to go shoot some hogs. Yeah? In Alabama. At night. At night. How are you going to do that? With a Trigicon thermal scope. Yep. Night scope. Yeah. Your job is to like that's, drag her pig for her. I was gonna say, that's, that's where she really can run. She's probably going to drag the pig in. Well, she yeah. comes back and goes to bed. Exactly. With ham and eggs for breakfast. <laughs> 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 All right. We're with Tony who uh, manages the farm here and uh, at the Barber Creek and he probably knows best where the hogs are. We're, we're gonna go to a, a spot where I know they're in a field right in this second. Okay. And uh, we're gonna do a little stalk on them. We got the Trigicon on the gun and I got a, a pair of binoculars too that are thermal. That's awesome. A little easier. So to... he's kind of a single file, sneaky and... Yep. I'm okay with wrestling some hogs today. <laughs> I want, okay. let's, please video that. Okay. <laughs> I want you to video that, Kristen. Okay.
got that one. All right, save us a couple bullets. Oh, Good man. job. That was awesome. Sweet. <laughs> All right. All right, sweet. Wow. Right. Right. You, were, you were laying some lead out, man. Yes. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever shot a hog, so that's pretty cool. How about that? The first shot, I heard. <laughs> I mean, it was a yeah. thump. Oh, and yeah. dropped straight to the guy. ground, too. I think I had two. That? Yeah. First one for yeah, sure, the second, second one. I heard a second that is so yeah. cool, man. Our first hybrid light experience and with a with a hog hunt at night. That's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> Using a thermal with Trigon made, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go see your hog. Sweet, yeah. That's that's Lead the way, Look at that. Oh, he's big. No he didn't go Look anywhere. at that shot, Cheyenne. No wonder he didn't go anywhere. Right. Good sized hog, man. Well, I mean, you put it right where you're supposed to right shoot him. Wow. Yeah, and that's the right side. That's the, the side ear. that was facing us. He's a lot yeah. bigger than I thought. Look at those tusks, too. I have never night hunted with a thermal in my life, and even though I'm not the one pulling the trigger, but it's still fun to come out here and do this. It's just amazing that the various disciplines that uh, that are available, you know, in the as we're helping control the environment with a predator hunt at night, and uh, the farmers are going to be super happy that we took two big old huge pigs off this place tonight. And I got myself a red boar and a black sow, and it was a really cool hunt because I've never used a thermal night scope. Uh, Trigigon before and really cool experience would 100% recommend any of you to do it and I will definitely be doing it again send it we're gonna hit the golf ball a thousand yards this afternoon That's gonna be are you gonna hit the golf ball to you I sure do hope I hit the golf ball. If my brothers hit it and I don't I will never hear the end of it so it's gonna be a competition so what we're going to do is crosshairs, your eyes, parallax, big board. Range it, dial your data, get your parallax. So a minute and a half left wind. Jimmy, you missed it by one inch at 8 o'clock. Oh, I'm thinking we're at about two minutes of left wind now. This week at Barber Creek has been very enlightening in that I learned that equipment is about 80% of it. I thought I had a lot of guns and a lot of good equipment, but when I got to use the equipment provided here, I learned that we need to probably get some more. My wife will just love that, I'm sure. Nice. Ready. I was only like a three quarters probably off of the golf ball and it was so frustrating they kept reminding me like hey you are still like doing a kill shot but it i just so badly wanted to get that golf ball <laughs> you, you were low by one inch your ball swinging your trap metal hit the ball yeah i shot at a golf ball today at a thousand yards in the fog and in the rain got close enough that the the little pressure from the bullet actually moved the golf ball. That was in two days. You could never get this training anyplace else. I can see it perfectly. Oh. Oh. By a quarter inch to the right. <laughs> Golly. Send it, pull it off. That little half inch, man. That's Three. the size Squeeze that of the that. Yeah, I Jimmy, keep missing that. Something? I got fixated on trying to hit that golf ball, and I knew it was just a matter of time until someone in our group would score. And then it happened. Send it. Send it. Oh, yes, sir! Golf ball yeah. down. That was Rice. Smoke that thing. Yeah. Golf ball yeah. Yeah. Saw it. Uh, uh, that. I couldn't be. Right. A lot of fun. I'm going to show you one thing. I beat my brothers. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> when I hit it, it was uh, an experience like no other. I jumped up and down and shook the whole entire tower. And I got a coin that says I hit it. And uh, this is the golf ball. So it's a real golf ball. <laughs> and it's really hard to hit. I was excited for Bryce. <laughs> Not really. No? OK, I was. <laughs> the training that we received is amazing, but it's also life changing because we're not just training for long range shooting, we're training for long range hunting. That's why it's important to train on life size animal targets. 
I'm going to attempt a 1,000 yard shot on an elk target and I'm using the uh, Trigicon 10 mile 5x25x50 scope. It's great for long range shooting. It's been performing very well and I want that kind of dope. Alright, here we go. What's the wind? About a minute and a quarter. A minute and a quarter left. Yep. And ready? Send it. Let me, uh, let me check there you the go. Make sure that it's Amazing. <laughs> really yeah, loving this. Yeah. It's addictive, yeah. no doubt about yeah. it. I did not realize how much the wind comes into play when doing long distance shooting. I pretty much got the groundwork for learning how to shoot long distance. It's like a training camp for football is what this school is, to where you come and they teach you things and then you go back and you got to work on it and get equipment, etc and then go into the field and make it happen. I've always enjoyed shooting sports and I learned a lot. You know, I'm ex-military and everything, I thought I knew stuff. I didn't know anything compared to <laughs> when I, once I took this class. I had a blast. James is a great instructor. Uh, I was never bored, even in the classroom part of it. Came at you, but it was all really interesting and I like seeing how the big picture works and he's good at showing how the big picture works, why you do what you do, and, and then it just makes it so applicable out in the field. James Eagleman is a phenomenal instructor, has the experience uh, to go with it, you know, a couple decades. I honestly learned so much from him. He was fun, he made us laugh. He was really just overall, just probably the perfect person for this course. And then the, the people here were just really kind and gracious. It's a phenomenal experience. If you like to shoot a rifle, I love pulling the trigger on a rifle. If you like that, you are going to love this. I came here, didn't have a lot of confidence as a shooter. We're shooting at a thousand yards down range, hitting clay pigeons and golf balls. And now I can go back home with that confidence. And whenever I go hunting out with my friends, you know, just hit the target, not be the guy sitting there just kind of here for the experience, just holding the guns. Uh, I like the small group experience. I mean, I've gotten to know all 10 guys that, that I'm here with. The highlight of the course has been the actual hands-on with those awesome rifles. Being able to shoot at all the different ranges, starting out at you know 200 all the way up to 1,000 yards. Well, brother, you do a great job. Thank you for, for being extremely, uh, not only knowledgeable, but kind to our group. And, uh, and even when we do doofus moves, you, you never throw us under the bus, which is, I think, Pretty, uh, it's pretty, pretty noble of you. We're here to learn. We're here to yeah. have fun. This is what we call the Barber Creek experience, not just a shooting school. So great meals, great food, great people. You get to yep. meet other folks and mesh with them. You may not even know them. Right. And then by the, the end of day two, you just made new contacts. Yeah. If you understand just how truly amazing it's going to change your life, which you don't, but maybe watching this episode, you see how it's changed my life and you're like, I want that. It is so worth the price. I looked at the prices of other schools and y'all are under them by several yeah. hundred dollars. And we do that on purpose. Mm -hmm. And they don't even provide what we provide. Yeah, exactly. They don't provide food and lodging and all that. Right. Come here to learn how to use the rifle, then make a decision on what kind of firearm you want to get. That's and right. Caliber. Yeah. We discuss it all in class. We talk about barrel stocks, triggers, stock designs, mm -hmm. single double stress relief. We talk about uh, different scopes to use, yep. first, second focal plane. We talk about ammunition calibers, what mm -hmm. caliber is good for what kind of animal you're hunting. So we really break it down and try to make us more of an informational driven class, not just, yeah. hey, you're going to shoot something at a thousand yards, here you go, hit the plate, good, graduate, have a nice day. Yeah. So if you want to learn more, go to barbercreek.com and uh, you'll find out some really cool stuff there. And if you get a chance, come down and visit them in uh, LA, Lower Alabama. Lower Alabama. Yes, sir. God bless you. Each year, 
Dr. Jimmy Seitz speaks to thousands of people at wild game suppers, churches, and special events. If you are interested in booking Jimmy to speak at your event, call 615-338-0234 or email us at office at teamsoa.org.